All right, so in this uh, training, I'll be walking you through on how to add products from CJ or Commission Junction over to your WordPress site using the WooCommerce plugin. So the first step is you head on over to cj.com, you log in up here at the top right, and once you log in, then you'll be brought here to your dashboard area. You'll notice up at the top, you're uh, going to come over here to the links area and just click on that. And then from there, you'll just move your mouse down here to where it says products. And instead of the links, you want to click on products. And then from there, you can search for products that you want to uh, add by a specific advertiser that you're approved with. Okay. So in a previous training, I showed you how to get approved with suppliers in uh, CJ and apply for them. But in this uh, training, I'm going to show you how to add the products that you're approved with to add to your site in a couple different methods. So the first method is you can search for the product specifically by advertiser over here. So I'm just going to type in the name of the advertiser. In this case, I'm going to be using Power Systems. And then in that uh, section right here, you can skip these areas and just click on search. You're just going to search for your advertisers only for products for them. Okay, and then you can uh, look at, there's a total of 1,239 products that this supplier or advertiser has. And you can go through and consider which ones you want to add. Now, the, uh, the ones that have been performing well in the network have higher seven day and three month EPCs. So earnings per click in the network with CJ. So that just gives you a, a, a metric to look at. Uh, if that is going to influence your decision on which ones to consider adding to your store. But if it uh, doesn't influence it, then just simply choose the ones that you want by clicking on this Get Code button. And before we do that, you can also come up here to the default area and search you know, these products by the uh, low to high price or high to low. And, and then you can choose the, you know, the products from there. So, but yeah, the very first specific method of adding products from CJ to your WooCommerce site or pretty much anywhere uh, is to click on the get code button. And in this case, I'm going to come down and get the uh, three pound orange power toss football, okay? And so once you do that, then you'll wanna come down here and click on the click URL. And this click URL is the affiliate link for that specific product that's connected to your account. So you have to use this link in order to, in order to get paid from CJ. So if someone doesn't click on this link, then you're not going get, to get, get paid. It's that simple. Okay? So you copy that link and you head on over to your site. And in this case, I'm just uh, using this site right here. And you want to come on here and click on add new underneath products. Okay. And at that point, give it a, give it the product name. You can actually fill this out in just a moment. I'll show you in, in just a moment. But, um, in the section down here where it says product data, just expand that area. If it's not already expanded and you'll want to make sure that you click on the simple product drop down menu. And instead of a simple product, this is going to be an external affiliate product. Okay. So since we just copied that link, that affiliate link from CJ, and we're gonna paste it right here. Okay, or you can press Control V and paste it, okay? So there you go. Okay, now uh, when people see this, we're gonna actually look at this in just a moment, then when people see this, a product on your store, on WooCommerce, on your WordPress site, you can customize the button or to keep it as is, you know, buy product, or you can say add to cart, something like that. If you want to reveal the price to people on your store, then of course you can put the price here. Another strategy is to incentivize them to click on the link by saying view best price and not put the price down here. Now you do encounter some issues with this approach if you're going to add this product to say a feed and to advertise it on you know, Facebook or on you know, Google Shopping, for example, they require that you have the price there. So, but if you're not going to add this product to Google Feed or Google Merchants and advertise it there, then it's uh, just fine to, of course, keep it blank. But anyways, we're going to keep it as add to cart in this situation and then put the actual price here. So we're going to head on over to a new tab 
And keep in mind that I already have that affiliate link right here. Remember, copied. I always want to make sure that that link works. So I'm going to paste it up here in the address field, press enter, and make sure it pulls up that product successfully. And as long as it does that, then we're in good shape. So I do that anyways to check the link to make sure it works, but then also it pulls up the page so I can bring over the information. I'm going to copy the title and paste it in here and start adding the data from the product over to my site. So we're just going to copy the uh, description and paste it over here. So title, description, we got the link, got the button text, the price. Okay, we're going to put the price in. In this case, 4102, and then that's all you really got to do here, okay? If there is additional information on this page that you want to put, then of course you can put that either right here in the major description box, or you can scroll down and put it into the product short description. You can put a, you know, you, you can put YouTube videos in here to demo with the product, or you can, of course, you can create a video yourself, uh, but. Many times, if you just speak with a supplier or go over to the affiliate uh, advertiser site like this, then they might have a video over there, in which case you can copy the link of the video and paste it right in here, okay? And it'll automatically present itself inside of here. Okay, so let's come over here to the product image and we'll set the product image for this product. So we're just gonna head on over to the uh, Advertiser site, save the image as. So make sure you click on the image first, it'll pop it up and you right click with your mouse on it. Man, make sure you click on the actual image, not outside of it, okay? But save the image as now. Okay, when you right click and it'll pop it up, save image as, save it to your computer. Now I like to rename it, you know, instead of that number. Okay, and I I'm just going to save it to the downloads folder, head on over to my site, click on product image, set product image. It's going to pop up, just upload the files and drag and drop that file from down there. It's just a lot easier. You could search for it, but once it uploads, there it is. Okay. I'm just going to paste that alternate text right there too. Well, let's actually, we're going to do that here. There we go in the alt text, set product image. There it is. Okay, and then the last step is to make sure that you have your product category selected. And in this case, this product is a weight power toss football. So it, uh, we're just going to put it in the accessories for right now. It could be classified or put in the medicine balls. It's kind of a weighted ball, but um, we're just going to keep it there for right now. And then we'll simply click on publish. And that's how you go about doing that. Okay. So just a recap. I just showed you how to add a product from CJ or Commission Junction to your WooCommerce store using WordPress by just going straight into the link search section of CJ and searching for specific links for products, okay? Now, the second method of adding products to your store is when you cannot find a product link when you're searching for it here in CJ. Sometimes um, advertisers might not have links listed for all of their products, in which case you can use a second method, which is to use what they call the deep link generator with uh, Commission Junction. So in this case, this URL will be in the uh, bottom of this video training, so you can click on it, but it'll take you over here to uh, this page where you can scroll down and get familiar with what this bookmarklet does, but all it is is you, uh, it, you, you'll probably uh, be fam familiar with this process if you've used the same process with Pinterest. Pinterest has the same thing and a few other sites too. But it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is scroll down and see this little button right here. You don't click on it and let go. You gotta click on it once and hold it. And you drag it up to the top of your bookmark bar. See now, see that little plus button? Okay, you don't stop right there, but keep on going up to the top and you can see that little plus button. Once you see that plus button in your bookmark bar, see this whole bookmark bar is, that's what it's called in Google Chrome. And you can let go and it'll show it right there like that. See, I've, I've already done it on my side, but um, I'm just gonna delete that one because I already have it. But that's what's 
what it's going to look like when you're done. Okay. So once you have that bookmarklet bar right here in your bookmark bar <laughs> on your uh, Google Chrome browser, then that's all you got to do. Okay. At least in terms of using that uh, function. So now let me show you what to do. So you got to make sure that you uh, open up a website that you are already approved with. Okay. So in this situation, I'm already approved with powersystems.com. Okay. So I'm just going to head on over to powersystems.com and I'm just going to head on over to the best sellers and click on a product that I find cool. So let's click on the kettlebells prime. Okay. So when I click on that, if I wanted to take this URL up here, the specific URL of this product, this premium kettlebell prime, then I'm going to uh, simply, now you gotta make sure that you're approved with the supplier already or else it's not gonna work. But as long as you're approved with the supplier or the uh, advertiser inside of CJ, okay, you're approved with them, then you gotta, of course, second, make sure that you're logged in to CJ as well. Okay, you gotta do those two things. Approval and login, okay? And we're, of course, already logged in. So when you come back over here to the actual product page, then you just simply click on that deep link generator bookmarklet. And once you do that, then it's going to process and uh, um, create a deep link URL, which is the affiliate link for this specific product, okay? And so we're just gonna, simply going to uh, copy that link now and move forward with the same process as I showed you earlier with adding a new product. Okay, you can add new here or add new here. And then you just move forward with adding that customized product. And so the only difference is, is that we went around the, you know, a different way of getting the affiliate link for that product instead of going inside of CJ to get it. Okay, so we'll just paste it there and then keep on adding and put the price, so on and so forth. I'm not going to go over this again, but that's exactly how you go about doing that using the uh, bookmarklet with CJ. Okay, so that is a wrap. Okay, you can actually add products to pretty much any store, whether you're using um, you know Shopify or WordPress, using WooCommerce, the plugin, or any other platform. But as you know, if you're receiving mentoring from me, or if you've gone through my programs, um, I'm a big WordPress geek and fan because um, of the reasons I've taught you, such as 100% control and flexibility over your stores and the sites and the affordability as well. But um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me and my team. We're happy to help out. And if I'm mentoring you one-on-one, -on -one, of course, you know how to contact me directly and I'll be glad to walk you through and help you get unstuck with any of the things you encounter. Uh, but uh, otherwise, you guys have an awesome day.